Well, Cheryl, uh, we're here at the Chicago Auto Show at the Toyota Display, and uh, besides all the fabulous cars, the, the announcement with Toyota and Daytona and all the other things that uh, we've been experiencing, like the, um, the off-roading indoors. Yeah, really yeah, there's fun, a, right? Yeah, absolutely. There's a, this is a very interesting program. Teen Drive 365. Can you tell us what it is and what it's doing here at the show? Absolutely. Well, we have all these fantastic technologies these days. And so with Toyota Teen Drive 365, what we're trying to do is eliminate the distractions that are creating the one in five teens that crash in their first 365 days of driving. Wow. One in five. If you add one more teen to that, so one teen gets in the car with them, they're now 300 times more likely to crash. So we are trying to eliminate these crashes. So we're bringing parents and teens together together across the country with classes that we do for free at the dealerships. Go to teendrive365.com and you can check out if a class is coming near you. You can learn everything from vehicle safety, vehicle performance. Parents learn about coaching their teens to drive. We eliminate distractions and get people to save lives. That's the idea. Yeah. And uh, we're here at the, uh, the, um, the, the, the Chicago Auto Show and we're at the display and there's a car here equipped with some uh, pretty high-tech uh, equipment. Can you tell us what it is, please? Yes, this is our distracted driving simulator. So people that get in line, they tend to think, well, my teen gets distracted, but I don't. I'm good. I've been driving yeah, a long I know. time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I so got experience. We get them in the vehicle. We put a virtual headset on them that they, that, so they can see the road ahead. And then they use the gas, the brake, and the steering wheel just like they normally would in any vehicle. They drive down the road. We get them up to speed. And then we do introduce distractions. We say, go ahead and use your phone. So your vehicle goes where your eyes go. So so your vehicle, if your phone's in your right hand, your vehicle's going to the right. Whether you like it or not, doesn't matter if you've been driving for 50 years or for five. It happens to every single person Same that speech, goes through I the guess. simulator. So we're trying to show you no one's good at it, and you've got to eliminate those distractions to save lives. Yeah, and uh, even though it should be everywhere, but uh, for example, in Florida, they just introduced a very limited law against texting and, and driving, mm -hmm. which is unfortunate. And it's bad to say it, but I think people are getting better at it, but not really, right? Well, and that's a false confidence that a lot of people have. And then we put them through the simulator, and they're standing there with their teen, and they say, oh, well, I can do it, but my teen shouldn't do it. And I say, well, what day are you going to hand the phone to your teen and say, go ahead and text now while you're driving? Yeah, okay. You would never do that. Just so you know the, the tragedies that can happen, if you are driving down the highway at 70 miles per hour, and you look at the average text, which takes just about three seconds, you'll go the distance of a football field. It's like driving blindfolded on the highway at 70 miles Very an hour. Very fast, yeah. Scary, right? Yeah. Would you drive blindfolded on the highway? No. But people look at their phones all the time. That's the same as just taking a sip of a bottle of water, though. So that's why we say, okay, if you don't ever use your phone, just take a drink of this water or reach for your sunglasses wow. that you accidentally left in the glove box. And then people veer to the right and they hit things and they realize, wow, I'm not as good at that as I thought I was. Yeah, and, and I, a lot of uh, people probably like it's a really a wake up call. I mean, it's because, a huge wake up call. Yes. Because we do many things, not only the phones, but there's like so many other distractions. So even the kids in the back, maybe. Oh, you're right. The kids in the back. You know, how many times have you reached back to hand a bottle to the baby or give them their binky that fell out of their mouth because they're crying? And just that one action, if your wheel turns just one degree out of the 360 that it can turn, within three seconds, if you're going 65 miles an hour, you're going to be in the lane next to you. I mean, yeah. that's really scary, and it takes a lot longer than three seconds to pass something to the back seat. So it's yeah. And even though stuff. Toyota and other manufacturers have really fantastic te technology to avoid accidents and make the car safer, the ultimately, the driver is in control, right? You're right. In fact, the number one safety feature in any car is the driver. That's it. You can have all the safety features in the world, but if you're not being a safe driver, you're not going to get to your destination safely. And that's our goal is to save lives. We want to make sure everybody makes it where they need to go. So uh, congratulations to Toyota for doing this program. Uh, TeenDrive360.com, you said, is the it's website? It's TeenDrive365.com. All of the classes that we have that are 100% for free, we do no selling whatsoever. We invite parents and teens to go to the site, sign up. We're all over the country. We're going to be in the Chicago area very soon in Naperville and LaGrange. We'd love you to come out and join our courses. It's a blast. Everybody leave. You know, the kids walk in maybe a little reluctant, and they end up high-fiving us and hugging us. Maybe the kids uh, teach a lesson to the parents. Right? They do, because a lot of... I had one dad just the other day. He said, well, I told my son, I can afford it if I crash, but you oh, can't. Yeah, exactly. So I'm not going to let you do this stuff unless you had a job. And I said, but you can't put a price on a life. So if you crash and it's my kid, 
Yeah. No way. So he, he said, you know what? That was a big eye opener. And he got in the simulator and he thought he was good at it and he was terrible. And he, he said, I, I'm a changed man. Today's the day I'm putting my phone away. Well, so, thank, hey, that's awesome. Thank you for the information. I will sure to post it to our audience so they can take advantage of that. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Cheryl. Pues ahí tuvieron la información sobre el programa Toyota Team Drive 365. Eh, se los recomiendo altamente y como decía Sherry Lavery ahí, eh, busquen la información porque hay programas en todo el país para que puedan aprovechar y darse cuenta exactamente de lo que sucede cuando uno se distrae al volante. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.